But um, I'm still saying that this lady will not be representing South Africans. This lady will not be taking this crown and, you know, basing it here in South Africa. It will definitely be a crown of Nigerians. And we don't hate them, but we are saying that this is our pride as South Africans. She needed to be a proudly South African, but she is currently not showing that. She is showing of being a proudly Nigerian, and this is definitely pride of South Africans. Well, uh, Zandile, just because you say something on Twitter doesn't mean it's going to be true. And the last time I checked, you're not going to be a judge of Miss South Africa. Lebo, do you have a comment on that? I definitely do. And I think, it, again, we come from a very hateful nation. And unfortunately, we have been socialized to hate each other as Africans. And that's a very sad thing. And I know Trevor Noah just came out because he was shunned for saying that the the, the participants that won the, uh, the, the, the French Cup, you know, the soccer players, were supposed to be considered African as well as French. If we are willing to say that for a, a national team that does have African descent, why can she not be able to also proudly say where she's got her descent from? She, ha she is part of... A Nigerian, but she is a South African citizen, citizen. Therefore, within her rights to participate in such a um, a pageant, but also just looking at back at the fact that how arrogant do we feel that we got the right to go against what the pageant has said? She has proven that she is eligible to be part of this but we want to now question her because she chose to celebrate some of her descent we as south africans who were also part of the struggle who had to flee and a lot of us were born in exile or lived in exile where other african nations and the world embraced us how can we now turn around and turn uh, and turn back one of our own just because she is celebrating how diverse her culture is